Hey, so, uh, hello, and, uh, this is, uh, gonna be a short tutorial on, um, how to, uh, mod Enter the Gungeon, because, well, if you're watching this, you probably heard about how Mod the Gungeon is deprecated, and all the mods on Mod Workshop are deprecated. And basically that means you shouldn't be using them and you're probably confused on what you should do and you know you might have been hearing the words Bepin, EX and Thunderstorm being thrown around but you don't know exactly what they mean and uh, that's where I come in alright so yeah now this uh, I'm just assuming that you've already uh, that you've used Molly Gungeon and my workshop in the past and you're just trying to figure out how to switch and I'm also assuming that you are you have already uninstalled mod the gungeon and deleted all the old files related to that that's not what this is about this is about just installing the new stuff so now the first thing you want to do is go to this website uh enter the gungeon dot .io. this is where this is like the website version of where all the mods are and stuff but specifically what you want to look for is uh this now there's two ways this is the bepin ex this is what actually lets you mod mod uh enter the gungeon and there's two ways to install it, either with a mod manager or manually. This tutorial is going to be using a mod manager, Thunderstore mod manager to be specific. But if you want to do it manually, there's instructions here on how to do that. Um, so if you want to install uh, a mod manager, there's this one right here. And then there's Thunderstore mod manager, which is the one I did. Now... The reason why I picked Thunderstorm Mod Manager is because I found out that in the Overwolf Overwolf app, it's here. It's right there. Uh, in, in the mod section. And if you're like me and you have already have Overwolf because of Curse Forge for modding, having Minecraft mod packs, then I'd just go with this since you already have the Overwolf here. Might as well. You just install this, and, uh, yeah. Now, once you install that, it'll, uh, it'll pop up here, and you just gotta open it, and it'll launch it, and then you go to select a game. Oh, well, you gotta find Enter the Gungeon first. It's got a bunch of games here, and you just find Enter the Gungeon, you press select game, and you go to Steam, or Epic Game Store, uh, depending on what you have, what what you have entered the Gungeon on, I have it. Technically, I have it on both, but I play it on Steam, so I pick Steam. Um, and then here's the profiles. Uh, I think it's just for like if you want to have like different like profiles that have like different mods and stuff. If you want to do that, that's up to you. Um, I'm not doing that though, so I'm just gonna press select profile on default, and it's gonna bring you here. Now for you, there ain't gonna be nothing here. It's gonna say zero right there. And you ain't gonna have no mods, all right? So what you wanna gonna do? Just you gonna wanna, what you gonna wanna do? Is go online, and then it has a, a bunch of mods. It has actually all the same mods that was on the website just here instead, and uh, there's two pinned. Bepin EX and Mod the Gungeon API. Now, you're going to want to download both of these. Uh, Bepin EX, because I'm pretty sure this is what makes it, like, work, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, what makes the mods work. I th I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So, yeah, you're going to want to get that. And there's also this Mod the Gungeon API which basically takes the features that Mod the Gungeon had and just ports them over to here. So like the console commands and all that jazz. Um, so you're gonna wanna get that too. 
Uh, also, some of the mods require you to have it, so yeah, you need it for that too. And you know, you just want to, and then uh, you have the essentials. Now you just go download whatever mods you want. Uh, they're all here. Oh, uh, actually, they're not all here. Um, so I guess Thunderstore and the Mod Workshop, which is what you would download mods on for Mod the Gungeon, are different. And so you, the creators of the mods, actually have to port them over. But uh, what's nice is that a lot of the big ones, I feel, have already been ported over. You know, you see Frost and Gunfire, Expand the Gungeon, um, the other ones too. Yeah, all here. All good, you know. Yeah. Once more in the breach is here. Um, so yeah, uh, you can start doing that. And uh, one other thing, there's one thing that's nice about the this mod manager is it downloads the dependencies as well. So if it needs another mod to work, it'll just download that as too. Speaking of dependencies, two mods you're gonna want to download right away uh, will be custom characters and the custom rooms because a lot of uh, a lot of mods and stuff require that and. I'm going to talk about custom characters in a minute. But yeah. You go ahead and press start modded and it plays it. Uh, congratulations. You've done it. You now have mods for Edge of the Gungeon. Pat yourself on the back. Uh, yeah. Now, this tutorial isn't done yet. Because uh, there's actually one more thing I want to talk about. And that's uh, for custom characters specifically. When I downloaded this, and I had no idea how custom characters worked because when you have the custom characters mod installed, it does not create a folder like it did for Mod League Gungeon called custom character, you know, the custom characters folder that it isn't there. And and if you're like me, you know, if you were like me, and you know, you're just like. What? Where is it? I don't know where it is. So, um, I I don't I don't know where to find it. I don't know how to have the custom characters. Well, it turns out that in order to have custom characters, um, you just need to uh, they're installed like regular mods, cause there's this whole thing. And actually, I'll go open open it up in a second. I meant to already have it open. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry if you heard the Windows noise. I don't know why that played. I might have to look at it. Whatever. Off topic. So, I just opened this up, and uh, this is actually like the file version of all the stuff. It's basically the same as this here, but in the file version. And, uh, thing about it is you go in here, and there's there's this uh when you get to enter the gungeon you choose what profile you want there's pep and ex and then plugins which is where all your mods are and in order for have custom characters they're just in here now for golden aimbot uh for the aimbot custom character um that was ported and downloaded using the mod manager it has uh the stuff and aimbot and then Oh well, look at that! It's all there. Um, you know, it's all it's all good. Uh, and is there? So, sorry, I'm like really losing my train of thought right now. Um, I'm this very professional, as you can tell. So. But you might realize that this is what I'm trying to do. You might realize that not everything is on here. Like on the, like I said, uh, I think I said this earlier. If I didn't, I'll, I'll just say it now. Uh, the stuff actually has to be ported over from the mod workshop, and I think I did say this that. A lot, a lot of the big mods are already ported over. Some smaller ones haven't, and uh, 
mods and porting them uh, are out of the scope of this video because I don't know how to do any of that. But for custom characters specifically, say that you want the Peter Griffin custom character, which I had actually made a video on a little bit ago, like 40 minute video of me playing Enter the Gungeon as Peter Griffin. Um, he's not here. He has not been ported over. So you might be wondering, how will I get Peter Griffin? And, uh, or any other custom character uh, that's on Mod Workshop and hasn't been ported over. Well, I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to want to go to the page for the character that you want, or in this case, Peter Griffin. You're going to want to go to the files and just download it just as you would normally, uh, as if you were, you know, downloading it for, and it stopped working. That's crazy. And uh, there you go. It worked. Uh, so you're just going to want to download it as if you're downloading it for, um, uh, Mod the Gungeon. And then you're just going to want to take the Mod Workshop file that you downloaded and bring it out here. You're going to want to open it. Take this and take it out. Get it out of there. Free it. And there you go. Uh, now you can just delete this. You don't need this anymore. Kick it to the curb. Now you have this, which is the actual character file itself. It contains all the different uh, stuff to make the character. Now, I don't know... The specifics of all this it's just this is the way I was kind of using the the aimbot custom character as a template uh, to kind of like make it look like that so for that what I think we have to do is you have to create a folder in here now the custom character on the web for the description for the custom characters mod um, actually tells you how to uh, uh, port them over like actually upload them to um, to the Thunderstore uh, manager and uh, make it so you can download them but it had mentioned that you put them all into a folder called plugins but I don't think it has to be called plugins I'll just call it plugins just because I'm lazy and then you just put everything else in there I didn't want to open it up. I want to put it in there. And there you go. They're all in there now. And then um, you just go ahead and open up your Bepin EX plugins. And you just take Peter Griffin. And you throw him in there. Uh, and bim, ba, boom. You now have Peter Griffin. Uh, sure. He won't show up. In the installed because you didn't technically install them using the mod manager you, you kind of just forced them in on your own but he will show up and I'll demonstrate that in a moment after this cut okay uh, I've just opened enter the gungeon um, and now like I said earlier you have to go into the thunderstorm mod manager and press start modded um, to actually load the modded version but will you look at that it's Peter Griffin he's here he's wonderful and he's functional I think I haven't actually made sure everything worked but I'm sure everything does uh, so there's probably nothing to worry about um, yeah I think that's it. This was like it is a lot simpler than I thought it was at first. All of it really. Um, importing a character that you're making uh, in the middle of making is pretty much the same. You just create the folder, and you create the plugins folder, and then you put in all the sprite sheet for your card, etc. Just like you would do with Modded Gungeon uh, into the into that. 
and then just throw it into that Beppin, uh, Beppin EX plugins. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, I got mine over here, uh, which I still haven't finished. It's been, like, a year, but, you know, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, that's the tutorial. Uh, this was, this whole video is unscripted. I did it in, like, actually, this is my, like, third take. The first two takes, I fumbled really badly on words, so... Yeah, uh, like I said, unscripted, uh, really low quality, probably going to be unedited, that's fine. But yeah, if this helped you, uh, well, good job, I'm glad that you want to mod this game. I know that this game, and especially its modding community, has kind of like, not been popular recently, and partially, par partially uh, one of the reasons why uh, there's barely any YouTube videos talking about how this this all works which is why I created this so you know um, in hopes to uh, help people hopefully so I hope it did and I hope I did it right cuz I'd be really embarrassed if I screwed something up I don't think I did though um, I'll leave a link to the Thunder store uh, in the, the description yeah, the Thunder store website page in the description and uh, yeah, uh, have a have a great day and uh, enjoy your modded Enter the Gungeon. See you.